This is Dunedin and Otago. It has a dark past that has been carefully hidden. Between 1869 and 1881, Māori prisoners were transported from the North Island to be used as slaves to build infrastructure. This history has been carefully minimised and adjusted to give the appearance British immigrants were humane and enlightened, not cruel and sadistic towards the indigenous New Zealand population. The term they used to justify this slavery was forced labour. This was nothing of the sort because no prisoner had been convicted to a term of forced labour in a court of law. It was nothing other than slavery. Slavery had been outlawed in the British Empire and in Article 3 of the Treaty of Waitangi it promised Māori the same rights and privileges as British subjects. These caves along Portobello Road were used to imprison the slaves. In their fake history, they describe kind and humane British colonists transported the prisoners and taxis safely to Dunedin prison after a light day of forced labour. Colonisation justification has been used to minimise the slavery, pretending the caves were built in World War I to defend against the German army in case the war in Europe and trenches came into the South Pacific. In reality, the slaves were locked up like animals in caves while subjected to back-breaking work building 50 kilometres stretch of Portobello Road. Many died from the cold, wintry conditions of Dunedin of hypothermia and malnutrition. 21 unmarked graves at Dunedin North Cemetery represent that death toll. This is the Rongo Memorial Stone on Shore Street. A tribute to the men and women that died in slavery.